What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Craft of War Tastes. And today we're digging into a beer from Thomas Hooker Brewing out of, I believe, Bloomfield, Connecticut. This is Super Duper Double Citra. So, big shout out to my buddy Rob. Thank you so much for sending me uh, this can, man. I really, really appreciate it. Super stoked to actually dive into this beer for a couple of reasons. <clears throat> Thomas Hooker Brewing. So, in my opinion... Um, Thomas Hooker actually brews probably uh, what I consider it to be um, the singular best shelf New England style IPA in, it could arguably be the Northeast. Uh, I might be stretching it there a little bit, but I actually happen to think that their no filter or hashtag no filter um, is probably the best representation of a true kind of, you know, Borderline mass-produced, right, shelf New England-style IPA. Um, and I was super stoked when I got this beer from Rob, uh, only because Thomas Hooker is kind of an interesting brewery. Um, you know, they're you know relatively decent in size. I think they actually started off as a brew pub um, in the 90s in Hartford. And, uh, you know, from that point on, I've kind of moved over a little bit more of a production brewery style. Um, has kind of distribution in a couple of different states and kind of considered to be like almost a little bit bigger. Um, and honestly, frankly, prior to them releasing and jumping on the Hayes game or jumping on the Hayes train with hashtag no filter, weren't really known for producing anything remarkable. Um, they kind of just kind of did some you know, run-of-the-mill kind of traditional portfolio beers that they, you know, released in the, you know, southern New England region. Um, and we're almost kind of more known for a lot of breweries actually choosing to uh, contract brew out of their location. So, um, but with Hashtag No Filter, they jump straight into the Haze train or Haze game. Um, and they're kind of following it up with, uh, you know, a couple of other different releases. And so Super Duper Double Citra is one of those releases. And so you can kind of take a look at the can art there a little bit. You got a little bit of a Double Dare kind of, uh, uh, you know, kind of reference going on and stuff like that. Super cool kind of label. So stoked to get into this one, man. Um, again, thank you, Rob. Really, really appreciate you sending this across. So let's go ahead and go into the drill, man. Let's go ahead and pop a top on this one. Get an appearance, get an aroma, taste, and then, of course... We'll rate it. So, get this guy open straight into a glass. All right. Leave this guy over here. All right. So, yeah. What can I say? New England style IPA. Um, super kind of hazy. Um, even getting a little bit of kind of yeast sediment there on the bottom. Yeah, actually, it's kind of full of kind of some yeast sediment and floaties. Uh, Borderline an alchemist beer, for crying out loud. <laughs> Not nearly as kind of big yeast chunks, but um, yeah, we're getting some proteins and some kind of sediment going on there, so... Um, yeah, not exactly the most beautiful looking beer that I've seen, but, you know, it kind of, you know, um... Checks all the notes for a New England style IPA. Kind of super hazy, medium to medium gold color. Uh, about a finger and a half of really nice kind of fluffy white head. Looks pretty good. Let's dive our nose into it and get an aroma. Ooh. Wow. Dig it. So, yeah. Big, obviously, citra in that nose. Getting a lot of kind of nice kind of like tropical fruits. <sighs> Got this like sweet little stone fruit thing kind of going on. Even with like a little bit of, um... Man, what is that? Oh, man. So there's like this really kind of sweet, delicate uh, fruit kind of note going on where it's almost... Almost kind of stra slightly strawberry-ish kind of maybe, you know, lemon, lime, a little bit of like strawberry kind of notes. Like a, you know, the best way to can describe it is like the note is like a sweet kind of nice um, fruit, delicate fruit sweet note, if, uh, if that kind of makes sense. It smells really, really good. It smells different, which is kind of cool. Yeah, smells awesome, man. Let's go ahead and give her a taste. Cheers, Rob. Thank you, sir. Mmm. That's tasty. So, follow straight in through the taste. Um, big kind of bursts of tropical fruits. 
Got a little bit of residual sweetness going on. So, I'm, I, again, this is a double IPA. Um, I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning of the rating. So, uh, Super Duper Double Citra is a double IPA coming in at... Where's the ABV on this guy? Huh. Don't seem to see an ABV. There we go. 8% ABV. So, um, yeah. It says a mind-boggling level of citra hop spread is a perfect balance for a silky smooth body and a crisp finish. We double dare you not to enjoy this brew. So, yeah. A lot of tropical fruits kind of um, popping up to the front. Again, a little bit of kind of like that residual sweetness going on. Maybe a little kind of sweet pineapple. Again, I'm getting obviously like, um, don't get really much, obviously, strawberry in the taste. But I mean like, yeah, like sweet kind of pineapple going on. A little bit of mango. No bitterness whatsoever. Um, you know, in fact, yeah, I don't even really get kind of any like grapefruit or kind of pininess or anything like that in the middle of the palate. Um, it's a little bit kind of straight up in front, right? Tropical fruits, sweet pineapple, things of that nature. Um, follows through just very, very simply, very easy to drink, zero to no bitterness. Go back in for one more. Mm. It is really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy a rating. So, as I said, Thomas Hooker Brewing Company, previously known, nothing really remarkable. Here's another beer that I've had about it, uh, or from them, in the New England style, that is really, really, really well done. Um, I don't know if this, uh, or if Super Duper Double Citra is as easily available as Hashtag No Filter. Don't know. Um, even Hashtag No Filter, you know, by and large, you can pretty much get it. I think they, they used to actually sell it in... Um, uh, 12 ounce six packs, but I think they've moved the 16 ounce uh, four packs now um, to kind of, you know, mirror the format, which is, you know, uh, the standard for most New England style IPAs. Um, but, you know, it's relatively available. It's available on shelves if you live in the right area in Southern New England. I don't know what the distribution of this is. However, with that said, I think that's freaking awesome. I think that's an absolutely, absolutely killer IPA. Um, New England style, perfect. The Citra kind of pops through. Um, if this is a shelf New England style IPA, kudos to Thomas Hooker because they're continuing to now kind of kill that haze game um, and kind of make those beers um, obviously a bit more available to the public. I don't even know what the price point is on it. So, um, but overall rating, at least from me, straight up, not knowing too much about the beer and how it's kind of released and stuff like that, but thinking based on how they do it for no filter, it's really hard for me not to give this beer a 4.25. Um, I might bump it down a little bit lower. Um, it's a little one note. Um, as I kind of mentioned before, it, it doesn't have a tremendous amount of complexity um, as it kind of goes through, but it's delicious, <laughs> simply put. So, I mean, you know, if you really wanted to nitpick a 4.15, a 4.20, you know, something along that nature, right? So let's just say for the sake of argument, like a 4.15, all right? Awesome beer here from Thomas Hooker Brewing Company. This is Super Duper Double Citra. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of The Craft of Our Taste. I hope you join me again for another episode where I drink, I review, I rate, and then I repeat. Cheers.